Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex. Data needs a presentation and infographic design is a valuable asset in the skill set of any graphic designer. So today I decided to show you how to create this road infographic in graphic designer. And we are gonna start right now from the new document Alt N or Option N on your Mac. And I'm gonna size this document with this website huge 1920 by 1280. Click on this icon to create a canvas and then rotate this canvas. I'm gonna work with the uh, portrait orientation, not the landscape, and grab the rectangle tool. Create rectangle. Uh, where, uh, where width is roughly twice as height. So we have this rectangle. <clears throat> now delete the fill and introduce the border. And I also want to increase the border weight so you can see my rectangle clearly. Now let's go and convert it to path. Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P, or you can go to the modify path and convert to path here. Then grab the subselect tool and select the top left uh, point. Uh, go to the modify path and break the curve. Uh, then uncheck this option closed on the appearance panel. Now we are able to move our point here. So again, I didn't manage to move the right point and now we need to align these sides again we cannot do this we can do this by selecting these three and click on this align left option so far so good let's delete this uh, point it's unnecessary we open this path and we basically delete the left side of this rectangle. Now let's select these right uh, points and increase the border radius and we need to increase it to around 180. It also depends on the size of your pass. For example, in my case it should be around 186. Now I'm gonna grab the point on the bottom left and holding shift key, I'm going to decrease the width of the bottom path to around one uh, fourth of its initial width. Now grab and duplicate. Make a duplicate. With Ctrl D, it uh, doesn't matter. Or Ctrl Shift D. And then rotate this. Uh, sorry, of course, we need to flip horizontally. Flip this duplicate horizontally and connect this duplicate end to end with your initial design. So, this is what we have right now. This is what we have right now. I'm gonna position them just like so. Then select them both. You see, select them both. Go to the modify path and connect path lines. To create a single design. Now it's single path. You see it here. Let's create a duplicate by holding Shift and Alt. Shift because we need to move it to the straight line. I'm gonna align them both and you see select these two paths and repeat this operation. So combine them and together into the one cohesive shape. Connect path lines. Now we have our final design. Let's work with the stroke panel. So navigate to the border of stroke panel and increase the stroke weight to around 100 pixels. You see. Now let's create another stroke. We can stack stroke one upon each other and let's uh, benefit from this feature of Gravity Designer. Um, set a width of this stroke, weight of this stroke to 92 points and uh, change the color to white. Then 
create another stroke and this time I'm gonna set it to 86 points and leave the color to black I set the color to black and then create another one and this time I'm gonna set it to 10 points first of all then I'm gonna change again color to white and last but not least I'm gonna navigate to the advanced option while this stroke selected you see my 10 pixel stroke is selected I'm gonna navigate to advanced options this uh, icon on the left of the trash icon and introduce the dash and this time I'm gonna set it to around 20 points and also I want to increase the gap and my gap gonna be 30 pixels see here so let's also hide uh, these endings you see these endings and we can do this by simply create a rectangle and uh, sample the white color from the canvas then add a drop shadow and push this drop shadow to the right by giving it positive x value to around uh, well let's say 8 pixels and increase the blur now you see the blur from the top and bottom so we need to create another rectangle that cover top and bottom of our shadow and uh, again sample the color here so make it white I'm gonna so I, I hope it makes sense uh, last but not least okay, of course guys we need to decrease the opacity because it's uh, now shadow is too harsh so so far so good let's grab all of the rectangles and combine them with the ctrl G command G I'm gonna rotate it as you can see my shadow is disappear for a reason because uh, I need to change the x value uh, from 8 pixels to negative 8 here so it looks decent right now we can grab and create uh, points here these points it's really easy to do grab the ellipse tool again convert it to the path ctrl shift p command shift p grab the stoop select tool and drag this bottom point to the bottom uh, lastly we need to keep it selected and go to the appearance panel to this joint soup panel and click on this first option straight here grab the circle and uh, well uh, it's embarrassing we need to delete all of these um, borders so grab the circle and uh, keep this pointer tool this seat shape and this circle selected and head over the boolean shape operators and click subtract and uh, now we have our pointer let's make it let's make it uh, red and position it to the turn over one of the turn overs then create uh, pointers here and let's change the color so great last but least of course uh, set your font start and finish i'm gonna work with the scale from resizing and resize it simply by dragging the bounding box set it to light this is gonna be start and this is gonna be our finish because we are done guys we have created a really wonderful and really simple road infographic here in gravity designer and guys before we end our conversation last tip you see this road here this path with a bunch of borders 
Guys, if you want to create another row, do not repeat yourself. Create a shared style, give it a name, and click create. Now grab the, for example, freehand tool. Start drawing something. As you can see, uh, Gravit already applies this road style. To and this is how you can create a very custom path of your uh, road, if you need so. And last but not least, you see it's road very rough. There are a bunch of points to my taste. Freehand tool creates too many points uh, when you're drawing. In order to remedy this, Control Alt, I believe, uh, Control Alt, uh, oh, where is it? Pass. Control Alt S or Command Option S on your Mac to simplify path. Increase the tolerance to around 85 pixels and click OK. Now you see it's remedy some points and uh, you have a path uh, to work with. Lastly, you can delete unnecessary po points manually, of course. Or uh, run this uh, command again. Control Alt S. Increase the tolerance to around, let's say, 93. Click OK. So, this is how you can create this wonderful infographic. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and do not forget to visit tutorials.net for more Gravity Designer tutorials. Join Gravity Designer tutorials group, join Gravity Designer users group, show, uh, showcase your work, and continue learning gra Gravity Design with me. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.